Hello, my Choo Choo family. I'm your fun-loving happy vlogger, Tom Choo Choo. So October is like my favorite month because it's one month before my birthday. But more importantly, my favorite holiday is Halloween. So last year during this time, I had done a few mukbang videos with collaborators and also sharing some paranormal stories of my own. And if you're new to my channel, I lost all my old videos last year and also all my subscribers. But thanks to myself, I saved up all my old mukbang videos so I can upload them all again. What you're about to watch is a pre-keto mukbang videos. So don't ask me if they're keto because they're not. And now here's my throwback mukbang. Choo choo! Sitting right next to me is Kana's world. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, that's how you usually say hi. I'm pretty much that's why it is. Yes. So, <laughs> so today I'm eating a pasta with Canna, and this is from Charles Trio. Is that how you say it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Trio Charles. Charlie's Trio. Trio. Charlie's Trio. Yeah, whatever. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce this. It's called spaghetti marinara. Oh, you got the chicken and diablo. I got the chicken Diablo. <laughs> and what do you have? I got the chicken fettuccine Alfredo. And Letty behind my camera. In all my videos, just like this. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> yes, she got the, what'd you get? Shrimp scampi. Shrimp scampi, yes. Mm -hmm. So that's hers. And I hate to admit this, this will tell my age, but at least over 10 years ago was the last time I've had the, from here. I'm forever 21, even though they're going <laughs> bankrupt. But whatever, you know, go get some the outfits while you can. Like 70, 80% off right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And without further ado, let's dig in. Just so you guys know, there's no like a title page for me after she said it. <laughs> and we're just going to dig in. Do you, do you like spicy? No. I'm not. As, no. So, so. When it comes to Thai food, cheese is king. So is it all your videos when you're eating? You're just sweating constantly, but it's not spicy. What are you? <laughs> Put me on the spot. No, um, certain food I'll get sweaty on, and the uh -huh. story of the mukbang with the setup is most annoying. So uh -huh. yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, but I sweat easily. Ooh! Can you guys smell the parmesan cheese? The steam. <sighs> yes. Let's eat before we talk about stories that you all want to know. Horror stories of Alhambra. Horror stories. Are there horror stories in Alhambra, really? Well, the, I don't even know if there's, it's considered horror stories, but like it's changed a lot. And That's true. That is true, though. They tear down a lot of old buildings that used to be around, so. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. 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 Oh, that was good. Oh, yeah. I always dip a lot. Um, why is it called olive oil? Yeah, yeah. Right, Letty? Yeah. yeah. I love to soak the olive oil in there. I like how you accentuated soak. I love soaking. Mm. Okay, I'm going to try my first bite. This is Diablo sauce, so... It's supposed to be a lot spicier. Yeah, yeah, but you know, my tolerance after eating those spicy ramen <laughs> challenge, I think I'm pretty strong. Let's see. No? Nothing? <laughs> no. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> we gotta get some more Sam Yang sauce in there. You know what? This is not spicy at all. Let's go. Mm. How do you like it? Mm. Great. Creamy, beautiful. Mm. Mm -hmm. I guess because of all these spicy noodle challenges out there, everyone's heat is like a lot higher. Right? I, I know James is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, James definitely built up his tolerance. Okay. Yeah. But my tolerance is still pretty low. It's just weird because when you don't eat spicy for a long time, your tongue goes back down. Mm -hmm. It's like alcohol. Mm -hmm. 
I know there's a lot of mukbang drinks in their uh, channel. Do you mm. drink? Mm -mm. You don't drink as in, in overall? Mm -mm. I'm allergic to alcohol. <gasps> oh, that's how I say it to people too. Even though I just want to be sober. <laughs> <laughs> Good excuse. <laughs> yeah, you know, I have to learn so much from Kana. <laughs> Even Letty's laughing in the background right now. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> No, it's because of you that inspired me to start doing mukbang. Do you know that? I think you told me once on one of my lives, yeah. yeah. And then you just feel like that's a lie for sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm surprised. No, it, it is. Like, I felt you are one of the channel that I tuned in, and I was like, wow, I wonder if I can do this, mm. you know? And so you are my wonder of inspiration. Your muse? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So I'm a little bit starstruck. So you guys you're talking. Know. You're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kenna came up with a question that I still can't think of a answer. But please tell me your question and please answer <laughs> it on your own. Oh my god! On the spot. Okay. Spotlight. All that nonsense. All right. Yep. Yep. Mm. Kenna is my guest today. Okay, it's his spot. So, in October, a lot of scary movies. Everyone obsessed about it. Costumes and not. So I want to know what everyone and yours, what horror character would you be most afraid of if they were to walk in front of you right this moment? Mm. Mm. Okay. What's yours? My answer was le is Leprechaun. Leprechaun. Not a lot of people know this, but a lot of the movie buffs um, out there would know. Mm -hmm. If you saw like a killer three feet tall person chasing you, and in the movies, like he would find different ways of just killing someone. Like It's not just like Freddy Krueger with his claws or uh -huh. blood or Jason with his yeah. knife. No, this guy would like do random stuff. Like I think there was one that I remember being most afraid of, and I never jumped on a, never really bought it as a kid because of it. it was he actually jumped on someone with a pogo stick, oh. like on the face and all yeah. that stuff, and that scared the shit out of me. I would have never bought a pogo stick since then. Okay, yeah, that sounds scary. You say this leprechaun dude is like three feet tall. Yeah, like, but three. it's it's taller than Chucky for sure, right? Chucky, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I yeah, think yeah. Chucky is like super tiny. Okay. Yeah, but Chucky is like colorful. Yeah. Like, the leprechaun is in this like dark green, like. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't like um, Green Lantern or Green Hornet and anything green? Ironically, when I was a kid, green was my favorite color. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this, is, this is what happened when love turns to hate. <laughs> Just so you guys know. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Just that concept, I don't know, just, that was, that was probably my first scary movie as a kid, okay. that's probably why. Okay, so, so what your scary movie characters, if they would have appeared in front of you, that, that's the question that we're framing, right? Yeah. My, no, if I see Ring, I will be so excited. <laughs> if I see uh, Chucky, I would definitely think he's adorable. Mm -hmm. Um. But you know, a lot of scary things like that, would, a lot of it is from music. Mm -hmm. Like, if you um, just don't have any music in a scary movie, it's not as scary. Yes, you're right. So imagine that, and then you hear, like, um, what would you hear? Like, the ice cream jingle in the back? You wouldn't be scared of that, bunny. No. No. <laughs> no. But you know what sound? I find it very scary and irritating. Hmm. There's a song. It's called, It's a Small World. <laughs> I find it very creepy. <laughs> yeah. But it's addictive, though. Like, I guarantee you, for the rest of the day, you can be hearing that too now. <laughs> yeah. And then it will just get into your head. And it will hunt you down forever. Like, the whole entire day, you might start thinking about that song. Yeah, and then you can just start drawing, like, yeah, faces. Yeah. And... Right, like, <laughs> no copyright, because I didn't finish the whole sentence. <laughs> yep. Okay. That, that is actually a scary tune, if you start hearing that. Yeah. I wonder if Disney will ever make a scary movie and play that in the background. Mm. They should. Yeah, but they will lose a lot of kids. <laughs> <laughs> they only hunt down the fifth money. Mm -hmm. mm. Letty, do you have any scary characters in mind? I don't watch scary movies. Oh, <laughs> just in general. What do you guys do for Halloween? Very simple. Like we're, mm. you are passing the era of trick or treating. Yeah, 
But you just um give out candy, mm -hmm. simple night. Okay. Easy. Okay. I mean, it's not a as a big. I know a lot of people love Halloween. I love the concept of dressing up, mm -hmm. but like, we don't really celebrate Halloween. Like last year, I dressed up uh, specifically for just a mukbang. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm still thinking why I should dress up for Halloween for mukbang. This is the first time I will be celebrating mukbang <laughs> in Halloween costume. All right. The question is. Are you willing to dress up as what you eat? Yeah. <laughs> so then that I you... love hot dogs. <laughs> oh man. I love juicy hot dogs, okay? The bigger the better, the longer the better. So one long juicy hot dog would be your costume. Yeah, but it, I feel like that costume I'm only going to wear it once. You can do hot dogs multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> and that day I'll be eating winner's nitzels. <laughs> Is that how you say it? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know if you want me to do that. <laughs> it says in a sultry voice. <laughs> if you do it, I'll kill you. Why are you going to dress up this time, man? I don't know. I was, I was um, on one of my life, I was talking about it. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's between two things. It's either I'm going to do uh, pineapple pizza. Okay. On pizza. Yes. That would be an easy one. Or a more creative or, um, one. Um, or drag queen. No. <laughs> a pineapple king. Letty would love me to do a drag. Oh, pineapple queen. Uh -huh. <laughs> Letty's There's getting excited. Right yeah, see, there you go. I have Let a red wig, by the way, in my studio. Letty's getting excited in the back. Yeah. You know that red wig? It's actually my stand in when I try to focus. Mm -hmm. And then I just put it right here. That's how I look up. Uh, that would make sense, yeah. Yeah. Why don't you just take like a mannequin head? Because, um,. It's creepier. <laughs> I mean, if a, a mannequin really like just stand there and just like pose for you, the whole entire day you'll be like feeling uh, someone's watching me, <laughs> right? True, true, true. You I, don't have like put it in a closet somewhere. Oh, my closet is already closed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, um, I don't have I don't have anywhere to put it, mm. so I might ended up just watching that mannequin the whole time. <laughs> So that would be creepy. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe I can just put it right next to me every time when I do my fun, especially the whole entire October. Scare the, scare the crazy other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I would talk to like, "Hey, Alice, how do you feel about today's food?" And they put a voice box in the back of the mannequin. Yeah, like, oh, it's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> You've thought about that. Haven't I you? did. <laughs> I sure did. I realized I am very random. Like, I don't stick on one topic as much. No, I'm the same way. Unless I am doing, like, a specific storytelling. Mm -hmm. Like, a horror story or yeah. something. Yeah. When you actually want to get a, your message across, mm -hmm. you stick to it. But yeah, if it's yeah. just more hanging out. Yeah. I like to ask this question to my uh, collaborators. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any supernatural encounters in life? In life, mm -hmm. you don't have to tell me like uh, like why it is, but have you encountered that kind of thing? I'll tell you the story. Um, I don't know if it's it's weird. There was one time I remember driving, and this was what I mean that they were dating, mm -hmm. and uh, which was like yesterday. <laughs> 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 Kidding? Yeah, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, so I was driving down to see her, and um, I kind of speed. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But at the speed limit. So what happens was that I was behind a car, mm -hmm. and that car decided to change lanes. Oh. But the car in front of that was at a full stop. Okay. And I was going Oh, my fast. God. <gasps> so driving forward, immediately I knew what was going to hit. Mm -hmm. So I felt so, some odd reason I felt something take over me and control the wheel and, like, do the whole, like, downshift, change to the Swore. super late, yeah, and yeah, yeah. get out of danger. And it tripped yeah. me out because, like... I wouldn't, it's not something that you would normally do, like when right. you're, you know, like you're a, what is it, fight or flight moment, situations yeah. like that. Yeah, I would yeah. have not, never known to change the change late, so I felt something take over me to do that. I was like, wow. That was trippy. Yeah. Saved hmm. my life. I was like, a life or death situation, yeah. because I was going at least like 40 to 50, mm -hmm. and the car in front of me was at a dead stop. Wow. That didn't happen when I got into a car accident. <laughs> 
<laughs> but oh my god, then, then you're lucky, and then you know you don't know what that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but that's that's kind of creepy. Yes, but in a very helpful way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've gotten to a point where it was like the ghost were haunted me yet. Uh -huh. but... You don't want that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Lady, do you have any? Mm, no. No. Lady, Lady, Lady is ghost proof. Things like that. She's, oh. she's does, like, oh, this happened. Okay. Okay. All right. If that happens, happens. Big like, deal. Physics. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that works. Oh, the door open. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to open this because I felt like they want to know why it is. Is every box different? Is it like catered to certain type of people? Like for me, it might have like dildo and sex toys. And... We haven't talked so that far yet. We haven't talked <laughs> that far yet. We might have. We should have. <laughs> no, I'm not that kind of mukbangers, guys. No, just so you know, <laughs> I am trying to go PG. With the total Satan and <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, so but it's uh, something that you love to eat. Yeah. So it's so it's this this month's theme is spicy. So a lot of people that we've given out boxes to this, for this month is spicy theme. Oh. I love spicy. Okay, well, I'm gonna open this box. Da 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 da. Ooh, what do we have here? See, there's a Kenna's business car. Is everyone's been doing this? Like I saw James and Mark just got their 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 business car. Ooh, it's so cute. And what do we have? We have Pocky. Oh, 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 crap. <laughs> You want it spicy, right? Yes, I love this sauce. Have you tried it? Yes, and it's still in my fridge. <laughs> oh yeah. So did you just only try it like just a <laughs> little bit? On, on a few things, but it's still in my fridge. Yeah. Oh okay. So I guess we'll dip that in pocky sticks, and also <laughs> <laughs> you want everything spicy, isn't it? <laughs> okay. And uh, what is this? What is the brand called again? Bimin Bimin Men. Bimin Men. Bim -bim Oh, yeah. okay. It's oh. spicy. We heard it. Spicy. We heard it, but I haven't had it myself, this specific one. But yeah. Watch me. This is a total mukbang. <laughs> um, and it's going to be like an October special because it's going to be spicy with sweet treats. Nice. That'll be creepy, but whatever. <laughs> uh, Choco Pie. You guys all know that. And, uh, ooh. What is this? Say the name. Say my name, say my... I can't say it. Koke de se? Okay. De asi? <laughs> I don't know. What, how do you say it? I don't even know. It's just funny. Okay, well, there's a lot more. I'm just definitely going to dig in for the next Mukbang episode. So stay tuned. Uh-huh. Thank you so much, Kenna, for coming. And please like and subscribe and hit that notification button. And please also like Kenna as well. <laughs> Just so you guys know, I'll put the link down below. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.